All right. Hello, my fellow investor, 16 Intelligent Investor here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about two growth stocks that I completely love. Before we start the video, guys, use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. And once you sign up with Acorns, you're going to be entered to win a free stock. And that stock is Microsoft. So um, the way I can do it is either send you the free stock and you can get it and claim it. Or what I can do is you can purchase the stock. And whenever you purchase that stock, if you win, then I'll be transferring you that money. And you have to show me proof that you actually bought the stock. Also, once we hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an Apple stock giveaway. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and you'll be notified when that video comes out. So let's start with the video. What are the two growth stocks that I'm actually going to be talking about today that I think are a great, great asset to actually have? Now, it's two stocks that I currently own, and that is Apple and Microsoft, two of the stock giveaways that I'm currently doing. So what do I think about them? Why do I like them so much? Why do I think they're the best growth stocks? Now, Apple, I've had it since 2014. So I've owned many shares of that. This stock has created so much wealth for me. Before, I didn't like Apple at all. I was just so stubborn. I, I honestly just didn't like it. I was a complete Apple hater. But Eventually, I gave in. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to invest into it. Put $30,000 in. Seven years later, this stock gave me so much wealth. Um, I was also an owner of Microsoft, and that one also gave me a bit of wealth as well. I didn't have too many. I only had about 50 shares. And I bought them back when they were like at 40 bucks. So, um, I mean, it's, it's had so much growth. And seeing that, I mean, it's made me kind of realize and learn that, you know, through all, all my time investing, I've been investing for 12 years now. I have been a financial advisor twice and I did work in Wall Street as a stockbroker. So, I mean, I ended up learning a lot. I gained so much knowledge and I ended up learning how to do a bunch of research on all these companies. So from all that I've learned throughout my history in investing and trading, um, Apple and Microsoft are honestly the biggest giants at the moment. Okay, they are competitors but they are giants in each of their own categories. And Microsoft is just doing so much and they still have so much potential in growth. Same thing with Apple. And people are constantly, you know, kind of saying, hey, um, I'm jumping into Palantir. It's going to do so great. This stock is going to, you know, double maybe in the future and all that stuff. For me, it's like, why risk Palantir doubling? Why put so much money on Palantir? Um, I bet you that if you put, $10,000 in Palantir and $10,000 in Microsoft. In 10 years, Microsoft is going to be much, much more ahead than Palantir. So this is the thing that you guys have to understand. You, you guys say, hey, I want to invest in the next Apple. You know, I want to invest in the next Microsoft before they blew up. Why not invest into them right now? They're big, huge corporations that are still growing. They still have potential. Apple, like I said, I've had it since 2014, and it's only been recently that it's been kind of gaining a bunch of traction. So Apple, I guess it started around 2016, 2017, where the stock started growing quickly. And um, it's still new, you get me? Microsoft has been doing it a little bit longer, but they barely started getting that huge push up, okay? They started coming out with the, the technologies that are needed. Um, a lot of stuff has been happening with these two companies that they've been growing heavily. And now they're dominating the technology sector. So, I mean, people are like, hey, it's too late for Apple. It's too late for Microsoft. It isn't, guys. We're just starting with it. If you own this stock right now and you wait 10 years, if you keep buying it between now and 10 years, both of these companies are going to give you good returns, okay? These both are huge giant companies, guys. They just have so much money. They're considered growth tech stocks, okay? So something like Tesla and stuff like that. These are in the same category of growth. But as you see here, they also pay a dividend. Both of them pay a dividend. Why? Because they have so much cash flow that they can pay a dividend. So they're growth stocks that pay a dividend. And that's just something that you have to understand that is mind-blowing. Growth stocks never pay a dividend. These guys are because they just have so much cash in hand that they can pay a dividend and still have so much money left, okay? So, I mean, these guys can honestly dominate the world and they are, they really are. Um, they can, you know, just do so much great still. They still have so much potential to go even higher. The way that technology is moving nowadays, both of these companies are just gonna dominate the future. And 
again, like I'm saying, don't have that mentality of saying, hey, I already missed out in Apple. I've already missed out in Microsoft. No, because this could eventually hit a new point. Again, do a stock split. Keep growing, okay? You're not missing out yet. They're still at a price where you can still buy them. And if you keep them long term and be patient with them, you're going to see returns. Again, I recently just bought um, Microsoft and in, in, when was it? I bought it not that long ago. I bought it this month on Robinhood. I mean, I have it on my Fidelity portfolio, but I recently started buying it on Robinhood. I mean, I bought what one share and I'm already up $26. Okay. I'm up 10% in less than like a month. Okay. So it shows you that these companies just have so, so much potential and they're going to constantly be growing. Um, Microsoft got a new contract with the government that they're doing. I mean, they're just constantly making money. You see here, the market cap is $1.9 trillion. Um, here with um, Apple is $2.17 trillion that they have, that their value is. So it's completely, completely insane, guys. Um, they just have so much money in hand. And it's, it's crazy. They're going to keep and keep dominating that sector. So like I said, it's never too late to jump into these companies, guys. It's not. I mean, I did get lucky getting them into them early. They did create a huge part of my wealth because they rode up and they did so many things that I didn't expect them to do. I held them long term and I'm going to keep them long term. I'm probably going to keep them for the rest of my life. So, I mean, I'm telling you guys, they're just good companies to actually look at and invest into. Now, just understand that I'm not here giving you any financial advice. I'm telling you, do your own research before you jump into any of these companies, because that's what you always want to do. You always want to be aware of what these companies are doing, what they're into, what they're doing, what their management is, all that stuff, because that's the only way you're actually going to make money here. Um, but check these two out. There's a reason why I'm doing them in my stock giveaways, because they're just giants. There's stocks that you guys just want to have in your portfolio because they have just so much potential for growth. They are long-term. Again, they do pay a dividend. If you put the drip program, they're going to be reinvesting those dividends back into that company. And you're going to be even getting more and more growth. So um, like I said, I have these two companies that carry my whole portfolio, not, not my whole portfolio, but my growth portfolio. And they're going to help it ride it up. When I have bad days in my dividend stocks, these stocks are the ones that carry it up. So, I mean, I'm excited about it. Like, like I said, um, I've had Apple for a long time. I've had Microsoft for a long time. I've seen them do so much and they're still going to keep doing more and more and more. Okay. I mean, Apple coming out with maybe a car in the future. Um, if that happens in 2024, this stock is going to blow up. It's a good time to get it right now at a cheap price before it starts jumping back to the three, four hundreds. Same thing with Microsoft. You know, they're taking out the Xboxes. They're doing all these things, working with um, the Pentagon and they're coming up with the cloud stuff, all that stuff. It's just insane what they're doing. So again, um, <laughs> check these out. They're giants, guys. They're really, really giants. When people were saying, that Palantir was going to be taken over that cloud sector and get all these contracts. I mean, they only got one contract. It was pretty good, $5 billion, but Microsoft took the bigger contracts. So nobody thought that, you know, Microsoft was going to tap into that sector, but they did. And they're doing it much better than Palantir. So, you know, it's just like, Hey, if Palantir competes with Microsoft, Microsoft is easily going to take it. I mean, they can easily find that technology and get better people to achieve better technologies that Palantir has. So just have that in mind, guys. That's why I have reoccurring investments for these stocks. I mean, uh, it's something that I'm like, I don't care what price I'm getting them right now because I know five years from now, these stocks are going to be much, much higher than they are. They're growing about, you know, 10% plus a year. So Microsoft, again, is already up 10% at the moment. So, I mean, they're, they're growing fairly, fairly well, guys. Um, check them out. It's a stock I recommend you guys check out. I mean, like I'm telling you, it's something you won't regret. If you guys um, have some free money, I would say do your research and jump into them if you want to. You won't regret it again, you know? Like the thing that I have for one of my cousins, I mean, I have a little cousin that's about 22 years old, 21 years old. And he's just investing into Apple. So, I mean, <laughs> he's constantly buying every day. You know, he's putting about $5 a day into Apple and he's already built that portfolio pretty well and it's been expanding. And I'm telling you, when he's about 30 years old, he's going to look back and be like, 
dang, what the heck happened there? How do I have so much money? So <laughs> I'm just giving you a little thing there, but um, that's all I want to talk about in this video. If you guys found this video informative, please kill that like button, share it, and do subscribe. Um, like I said, I'm thinking about monetizing this um, channel. I'm probably going to do it with this video to check it out. And whatever money I start making from YouTube, I'm going to be getting that money putting it into a gift card and giving it back to you guys. I'm not going to take any of this money. I'm, I, I don't need money. I don't care about money right now. Um, so whatever I make from here, I'm going to give it back because this YouTube channel belongs to all of us, not just me. Um, we're here to, you know, work together as a team here to make money. That's our goal here is to make money and we're going to make it together. Um, we're going to be helping each other out. And the best thing we're going to do is give each other knowledge to actually learn how to succeed in the market short-term and long-term. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.